Okay, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is once again Tubus Gaming HD and as always we are playing Farm in 2017. Some of you guys asked me to do this video right here. They wanted me to show how to use the greenhouses in the game and the greenhouses is of course the place where you actually produce some uh, fruit and stuff like that, tomatoes, you know, you, you name it. And uh, I, I just want to start out this video by saying you can post a comment down below on anything that you want me to do in Farming Simulator 2017 and I'll try to do it. So this was actually some of my viewers who asked me to do a tutorial on the greenhouses, how to use the greenhouses and stuff like that. So that is what I will be showing you guys in this episode right here. I know that there will be a lot more episodes up today. I upload like three times a day. You guys probably already noticed that. So I'm going to continue with that throughout the upcoming days, like straight ahead out in the future. So I think that you guys should probably go ahead and give this video a thumbs up since I'm listening that much to you guys. And I would just like to say thanks for your support so far. It's been amazing. And I hope you guys had a lovely new year like three days ago, four days ago. I don't know. Is it four days ago? Three days? New Year's Eve. But basically I want to say that if you have a greenhouse, these materials right here is probably the materials that you're going to need to produce some fruits and tomatoes and stuff like that. You need a water tank, a tractor to drive the water tank. I just took this fast track right here because this is a... This is probably one of the fastest tractors in the game. I know that the Veltra is a little bit faster, but the Veltra looks like a waste tractor. It is not looking that good, actually. And then you need a um, big wheel loader right here. I just picked out the JCB with the new shovel in front. You guys saw that from my latest video from the new March, actually. So uh, these were, <laughs> were actually the latest March that we got in the game. And I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna get some new mods. I think it's actually going to be on Friday. So I'm looking very much forward to that. But we're just gonna drive down here to the cows actually. Because what you need to have a greenhouse is actually that you're gonna need some shit. You're gonna need some shit from the cows. I know it's a little bit hard to say that it is just shit, but it is shit. The cows actually shit out the assholes and you gotta you gotta use that as um, as fertilizer for your uh, for our greenhouses so down here I've just bought two greenhouses you can find the greenhouses up here in playables we have the greenhouse right here for tomatoes and this one for lettuce lettuce is some kind of salad or something you know you know what lettuce is I know that too. So this is the greenhouses that we have actually. This one is for tomatoes. You guys just saw that. This one is for lettuce. So you can actually walk into the greenhouses right here. It is looking pretty well. But what you're going to do is that you're going to fill the shit up here. And you're going to fill the water in this tank right here. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys how that is done. And you can also probably see that I'm done with the potatoes, potatoes harvest up here. And I'm gonna make a video on that like later today, I guess. So we are looking forward to that that also. Um, basically, you also need a water station. I don't have a water station. I just have one at my farm actually. I used to have one down by the cows, so I just want to buy one again. This is a water tower. You guys can see that. So it is looking pretty well. This water tower, I guess. We're just going to place it here like the old one was. So I'm going to drive down there with the JCB right here. Is this a JCB? I can't tell, but I guess it is. Yeah, it is a JCB fast track, right? And standing on the side. So we're going to drive this one down to the cows, actually. Which is just down here, as you can see. So, um, yeah, let's get this in. You drive under the pipe up here. And then the water tank will actually be filled up. So we're just gonna fill it all the way up right here. And it is probably going to take some time. We're on 50% right there. Let's see if we can get on 90%. Why 90? We want 100. 100 right there. And then we're gonna go down here to the. We're gonna go down here to the greenhouses. 
and then you're actually able to drive up on the side of this tanker right here. You should be able to unload it. I'm just going to back it up a little bit. And you can see right now it is actually unloading the water into the greenhouses and you can you could easily see that it is it is actually growing right now so that is great it is filled up right there we're just gonna take the next one over here and it is unloading right there and you can see the lettuce right there is growing at the moment so that is definitely looking good so yeah and it is filled up also right there so we're just gonna park this machine over here on the side actually I'm just gonna take a picture I'm gonna do that later but at least I'm gonna show you guys how to fill up some shit in this lettuce it's a little bit it's a little bit strange or it's not strange that is just how it is but it's a little bit strange that we actually use cow shit to uh, to fertilize our food because tomatoes is probably something that we're gonna eat and you don't want to think about that it has actually been in contact with cow shit but that is something that you don't want to think about when you're eating stuff like that i love tomatoes and i still love them so yeah that that was a little bit strange and i shouldn't have told you guys that but okay let's get over here and fill the bucket up with some cow shit oh and you can see that this is solid shit and i actually have the new the new shovel up here it can actually kind of like it has it has like 12,000 kilos in it right now so that's a lot you can see it's a little bit it's a little bit um, it, it is actually waiting pretty much at the front of it you can see that but you just have to put it in right here actually you guys can see I just did that right there and it is filled up so now we can actually go over to um, to the next one right here with the lettuce and we can fill that one up too so you guys can see that it is actually pretty easy to do this it doesn't take that much to actually have a greenhouse and stuff like that so now this one is also filled up oh i just dropped something right there that is not looking so good but it's, it is okay at least at least this is my farm so yeah i guess it's going to be fine so let's place this one right here actually i guess and then we're gonna place this one right besides of it so like that we can get a good looking picture like this i think that this picture right here would actually be a good picture you guys don't you guys think that too it's looking pretty well this what this maybe this maybe this is looking okay yeah we're gonna pick that so that is basically what you want to do when you're gonna produce some salad and stuff like that we can just walk into it the doors is opening for us and you can see all the tomatoes right here they're actually in the grow the first growing stage of their life right now so we're gonna go down to the lettuce just to take a look inside you can see there is no door in here but the salad and stuff like that is going to be sold just directly you don't have to do anything you don't have to transport it or stuff like that it, the computer or the playstation will actually sell it for you just automatically so that is pretty simple i'm just gonna turn up turn up the time right here to 120 times and i actually think that the it will actually grow a little bit faster but i don't know I have never produced anything of this before. I'm just gonna do it because you guys asked me to do. So remember to put a comment down below if you want me to do something else. I can. You, you guys name it. I gotta say, you guys can just post a comment and I'll try to do it. Find a way to do it. I will kind of like may make a video on how to make wood chips in the game because a guy or I, I don't know. I don't know what the name was on him. But he actually asked me to do it, so I'm gonna do that in the upcoming week, I guess, or when I just get the time to do it. So yeah, that is that. I'm looking very much forward to that. So uh, let's see if the potatoes want come up right here. I surely hope so. So you guys probably already know what potatoes is. I surely hope that you do, because it's kind of like in everything, like in burgers and stuff like that. So we're just gonna wait for it. Yeah.
<laughs> okay, it is probably going to take some time. I don't really know if they're gonna show, but at least I can talk with you until they do. So yeah, uh, the you can see the house is right here. I'm just gonna see. Yeah, okay. So um, it costs like twenty five thousand to buy. And you can get a outcome on 90 euro every hour in the game. So that is basically pretty much. But it is definitely going to take some time before you have the whole greenhouse actually kind of like paid. Because I can already now tell that 90 multiplied by 24 hours in a game uh, is like, yeah, what is it, 2400 or something, 2200. So it's taking more than 10 days in game to actually get this uh, paid out, you know, since it's so expensive. But that's okay, I guess. I guess it's okay. I don't know if you guys think that too, but I, for me, it's okay so far. No more space to place new ballots. Yeah, okay. You guys probably already understand what I'm saying right here. So I don't want to wait for the tomatoes to come on. You guys can already tell that they will come on sometime soon, I surely hope so. So if you guys like this little video right here, please give this video a big thumbs up. And let's see if you can get like 50, 50 likes on this. I don't know if that is too much for you. But that would be great. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. To those of you who have subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe because there will be a lot more content in the future. As I said, I'm uploading like three times a day and there will be another video up later today. So please make sure that you have subscribed to the channel. I know I say that in all of my videos. And that is basically because I know there is a lot of you guys watching out there that haven't subscribed to the channel. So I'm just talking to you guys who haven't subscribed to the channel. Please go ahead and do it because that would be a great thing to do. And yeah, so thanks once again, thanks for your support. It's amazing to see all the comments. And I gotta say, I am reading all the comments. Some of you guys say that, oh, you're not reading all the comments. I, I saw one of them. I saw one of one of you guys actually said that to me. But it's okay. I know what I'm doing. It's not about what you guys are thinking, but it's about what I know and what I do. So um, I'm definitely I'm definitely reading all the comments. I and I, I can't answer all of them. I can't answer all of them. I just gotta say. But I'm answering some of them, and that is a great thing, I guess. So just post a comment down below, and I'll try to answer them when I get the time. So, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. This is True Voice Gaming HD, of course. And we're going to turn off now. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.